Welcome back to Death Must Die, and today we're playing the Elf Sorceress again. So, I've played this game a little bit on my own, just to see what you unlock, and yeah, there are quite a few things, you get a shop and stuff like this, but uh, talking about the games themselves, okay, they are so random. You will sometimes get insane stuff, like penetration, and just wipe out the enemies, and other times it's like, oh, that is actually a good start. So yeah, now we have multi-hits again, <laughs> remember that, that is actually really lucky. Wow. So what we want to have next is, we want to have penetration, that we hit multiple enemies with our auto attacks. And so there are two ways how you can play this. Either you buff up your main attack like crazy and you just kill everything with that, or you go for additional abilities and you have to hope that you get something ridiculously good, you know, that just gets upgraded and carries you. If that doesn't happen and you kind of mix it up, hello Summer, it's nice to see you again. Um, what is that? What is legend? I have n I have actually never seen this before. This would be so insane, but wait, for every instance? What does instance mean? What, like, what does that mean exactly? Do I get any experience? I think I get a little bit of experience, right, when I just deal damage. Let's take a look at this. Oh my god! Wait, yeah! Wait a sec, look at this! Oh, oh, oh! Interesting. There's also a boss fight in the game and I would like to get there with you guys, but again, it, it highly depends on the stuff that you get. At least if you're a knowledgeable and experienced as I am. I mean, don't mind me if I do. There we go. 14% bonus damage. I guess we'll just focus on the main weapon then and try to avoid picking extras. In my experience, that is also kind of like the best thing you can do, but again, like really limited experience. Um, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> I like how he's complaining. Okay, there we go. So we can summon elites if we are lucky and I think when there's a school on the altar and sometimes it will just summon more enemies, other times it will summon elites that give you items. What did we actually get there? Wait, I got something that got equipped here. 2% faster cooldown, 100 shard pull in area, amazing. We'll upgrade, wait, oh no, that's level 2. Fire breath would also be okay, but yeah, we just keep upgrading this. It's really important that when you go for rare stuff, that you just stick to it, okay? They are incredibly good. And I do have an item here that it's more likely that I get master offers. And I'm pretty sure I bought something, yeah, adept offers as well. Okay, it was like the only purchase that I could really do. So I didn't want it, but you know, I, I needed something there. And as you can see, compared to last time, I'm going less to the altars because even though they are great and amazing and help you out, what really matters is that you just level up as quickly as possible, that you can keep wiping out the enemies, and that is pretty much the easiest way to progress, I would say. The boss is no joke. Like, really, it's no joke. Hmm. I wonder if the bonus experience is actually worth it, or if I should have chosen something different. Oh, hey, Mord. Welcome. How are you doing? So this shoots out sickles. Our dash is improved. Honestly speaking, like dashes are incredibly important and we just got another one. As well as that it goes further, the cooldown is better. Yeah, that sounds good. The, the biggest thing is you have to you have to look out for enemy attacks, okay? Don't get hit by them. Don't even get close into their attack range, which is my biggest problem when you get swarmed like this. It's sometimes almost impossible and you have to hope that your auto attack will just kill them. Though we are doing this. Our AoE attacks are insane, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's kill- uh, But did you see that, how they survive? And then it can happen that you just get hit and yeah, you take a lot of damage as this character. I gotta take a look always at my dashes, but it's complicated because it's away from where I usually look. So let's hope for the best here. I would like to kill this dude though. He's almost dead, come on, just a few more explosions. Oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. I wanna see what we got there. Your attacks shoot more projectiles that knock back the enemies. Wait. No, but, huh? No, this only upgrades the damage and a knockback, right? Yeah, that doesn't upgrade anything else, but to be honest, that is good. We got this 16 health and more experience gain. I mean, that is not a lot, but yeah, I'll take that. That sounds good. And here's the currency. With that, we, we buy stuff, you know. Missile range is less... Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, I should maybe look at these stats more often. That would be good sometimes. 
But all in all, it's really about staying ahead of the curve that you're just strong enough. Level up, get some legend upgrades. Pretty much the more you level up, the higher the chance that you obviously get something really good. So if you just get enough experience, all is fine. I think I want to look for a magnet maybe. Oh, oh, the slimes are evil. Like in theory, this character does so well against the slimes. But if you don't have the shurikens that we had, then it's really difficult to kill them in time. Though I gotta say, we have so much bonus damage, maybe we can do that. Right. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, dash. Yeah, I got hit there. This is not good. The thing is, once you start getting hit, it's really hard to heal yourself. Aisha, hey, welcome back. And what do we get here? Movement speed, I don't really care. Projectile count, this is actually good. But, uh, no, we have so many projectiles. This is the same dilemma as the last time. So we will just go for the area in hopes that we kill more enemies. Okay, this is so close. Like, oftentimes you don't want to dash and just attack to kill them. But again, like, do you see that? How they sometimes survive with 1 HP? Yeah, yeah. Not that happy about that. Really? You had to hit me there? Uh, okay, okay, okay. We kind of offset the chain here of getting hit. That's not good. Actually, we are kind of doing it. Like, I expected I would take way more damage and would go to a heal. Like, it's necessary. But to be honest, I just have to look for one. Like, we don't really need it. It will just be helpful to recover our HP, so let's do that. I'll just keep shooting because apparently we just get experience when I deal damage, right? I think we did, right? So let's do this again. Um, oh yeah, but it's it's a tiny bit. It's, it's really not a lot. You are incredibly tanky, guys. There's a magnet. Ooh, that doesn't help all too much because I did collect a bunch of it, didn't I? Uh, yeah, there wasn't a lot flying in. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I don't even know if she has a name. Did she have a name? I don't think so, right? She's just the elf sorceress. Though, given the, the naming scheme in this game where time is the god of time, her name is probably elf sorceress, the, the elf sorceress. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, careful, careful. Or sorceress, the elf sorceress. That is perfection. And what we can do is, I think I tried this out a couple of times, you can always walk diagonally up, like similar to how the map is shaved, and then you will always get to the next altar, and you can, yeah, look at this. There's one. It's another health one, and I will keep this around. I just saw text. That usually means there's a boss or something. Okay, careful. Ah, this should be fairly simple. As long as you have dashes left over, this boss is incredibly easy. Once they are gone though, uh, yeah, good luck dealing with him. There we go, we have two more. I think I can just walk out of this, in the, if I'm not mistaken. Enemy armor is reduced, actually has incredible value to deal with some of the enemies that they don't stack up. Okay, there's a strong dash, that was, that was spicy. You have to be careful that you don't shoot into objects because they will just explode your projectiles and they do nothing. Okay, and do you see how they have armor? I'm pretty sure the blue stuff is armor. And this one lost its blue stuff so quickly compared to the other ones. Okay, okay, please don't dash again. Oh, that's bad. Okay, now we have a problem. We have a slight problem because we are running out of dashes and this means very soon they'll hit me. Um, not a big deal because we do have the health down there. Remember, we found that. Okay, I'm kind of running away from it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 vigorous rope. Where's the other one? I think the other one died. Oh, no, no, there he is, there he is. Please dash. Yep, perfect. Nice. Wait, this is going really good. I need piercing, though. If I don't get piercing, the enemies will build up like crazy. And these armor dudes are really annoying as well. I want to show you the boss fight and hopefully we could defeat it. I failed to do it because they are so powerful, so many of them. It doesn't make sense what I say right now, but you'll see very soon what I mean. Uh, I think at 10 minutes they spawn though. So, so far we're doing quite well. Maybe the experience one was a waste. Like, if you know that you get to 30 minutes or whatever you usually get here, then you do it. But I don't know how far I can get because I lack items and everything. Okay... Actually, we are melting these armored guys. They tend to be a huge, huge problem. Yeah, but look at this. Oh, super easy. Wow. Isn't that already a ginormous difference compared to the video? Like, just if you look at this, how comfortably I can play now. The game is so intuitive. I mentioned this a couple of times, but everything about this game is really well made. 
and I can't wait to see its full release. Like everything that you have in there, shurikens will be good, even less armor is insane, but we need AoE clear. Though the AoE clear doesn't help us all too much for the boss fight, spoilers. <laughs> okay, sometimes it does, sometimes it does, because there are multiple enemies. There's an elite, okay, can I kill this dude? Sometimes he gives you an item, not always. Oh, there we go. Wait, what? Dextrous sword? 16% damage to enemies at 50% life or less attack speed. Um, that has Dex in its name. That must be good. Wait, that is actually good, right? I mean, it takes longer to kill them, but attack speed is... Yeah, it has huge value to us, since we one-shot a majority of the enemies. So, more attack speed is amazing. Like, you don't need more damage if you already kill them. We are even dealing with those here. Look at this, when they get hit, they get interrupted. They can't move. Wait, that is insane. I'm getting dashed at. Your dash is improved. Every couple of attacks shoot out sickles. When you overkill an enemy, there's a chance that it spawns weak. Yeah, even more experience. You had to hit me. And did you see how much damage he did? It's insane. So, quite good that we have the HP around. Where is it? There. I will take it after these two are dead, in case I get hit again. Since I think it heals around half HP. Okay. Nice hitboxes, by the way. Like, if you're not standing in the hitboxes, you do not take damage. There's a powerful dagger. They yeah, are 30%. So let's take the heal and then I will move on to the next shrine that we can find. I should honestly just say shrine. I always say altar and I don't really know how to pronounce it so it sounds really stupid. <laughs> we are about to 10 minutes. Is this where the boss fight starts? The what? The Lama Warriors. I think the last time they had a different name. So the issue is... They are a bit of a joke, but sometimes they shoot exactly where you want to walk, and other times they shoot so randomly. Okay, so this is fine. They will teleport over time. Uh, there we go. It's such a difficult boss fight. Um, I need I need healing. Uh, the biggest problem about it is you don't really know whether you will hit the projectiles that they shoot or not. So sometimes you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll destroy that, no problem, and then, nope, I didn't destroy it. Okay, I disabled the, the auto-aim. That really messed me up. I got hit a... Okay, that, uh, apparently that doesn't change anything. Um... Huh. What do I do? There should be something down here. Invulnerability is okay. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I don't really understand what they are doing. They, they, they are just running away all the time. Oh, my HP is almost gone. Yeah, come. <laughs> why, do I have a, why do I have such a hard time to dodge that? I don't get that. Oh. Oh, we have perks unlocked. And that is only with her. Because I guess we played her. Your text peers bounce more. Wait. Okay, I mean, more experience would be amazing. 30% more experience. But, like... Um, piercing attacks, <laughs> just like that. What is this? Skeleton trophy. Squishy skellies. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> She's cute. So, does this mean if I check out here, uh, where is it? Pierce bounces plus two. But you don't bounce, right? You, yeah, you pierce. But piercing is insane on this character. That is the only reason why I took the shurikens, and that means this time we don't have to take the shurikens. And you know what's the best part? With this character, you can just hold down left click and continuously attack. One more projectile. To be fair, I'll just take that. That's totally fine, because we didn't get the other one, the masses. And this one here still means that we deal... No, we don't deal more damage, right? It's just that we have more area, which we don't really have anymore. The triple shot is way better. Like, way, way better. <laughs> no, the quadruple shot, right. You get three additional projectiles. I mean, don't mind me if I do. I guess we have three projectiles now. That is almost as good as the other one, except that one is just a single lap. Wait a second. Wait, these are way stronger, aren't they? These projectiles. It feels like it, really. Ooh. Okay, your attacks pierce more enemies. Oh, that is that is insane. Well, I mean, don't we have a little bit too much piercing now? What is mutating jewel? <gasps> that is new! 8% more skill level up offers. What does that mean? Oh, it's more likely to get skill level ups, which is really not what I want to have, right? I mean, maybe it could be good. Wait a second, I need to do this. And then, yeah, that's exactly the same thing. I don't think I want that, but maybe that's just what I need. Like, I need to have more things that fly around and destroy the projectiles from the guys. And now that I have so many attacks, I can deal with the masses, because this would be the biggest problem. Yeah, that could be a nice synergy. Okay, sure, let's keep that. What did you say about more skill level ups? Is through skill my main attack maybe what they mean, and the rest are, like, abilities? 
Then it is the opposite of what I thought it does. No, I think we just got unlucky and lucky at the same time because of the bonus area. Um, lo look at how big they are again. I think they're almost back to normal. Like we had negative 8%. So yeah, go going well. The best part about what we have this time is that we set the enemies on fire. And as you can see, this just burns individual enemies. Hi, Mord. And um, yeah, that will make it a lot easier to deal with the enemies later on. Uh, every couple of attacks spawn phantoms. I will take them because they just hunt down the enemies. And again, amazing for the skeletons that we have to kill. Not exactly sure what they do, but I think they deal damage to them, like once they haunted them down. But three of them means we deal a lot of damage since we spawn multiple enemies, right? So that's good. Ooh, wow. Wait, this is so much better than the last time. Remember the last time I almost got hit? And this time we just barely actually managed to kill them. Oh, very good. Vengeful strike in expert. Wait, did we have expert already there? But that is so much bonus damage. Wait a second. Yeah, look at this. We deal a ginormous amount of damage now. I mean, it kind of already was high, but now it's even higher. Oh, not bad. There's a magnet, very good. I Should I just keep this until 10 minutes? Nah, I'll never find this again, yeah. If I maybe randomly would've... No, that's not worth it to keep it. No, 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 no. That is better. This is for the dashes. Could be good, but... The movement speed could also be good. Let's be honest, though. <laughs> I want to make my attack bigger. I really want to fight the slimes right now. Because I have a feeling we will just nuke all of them. And there's a challenge. Very good. Death's champion approaches. It doesn't look like it's masses. Did any oh, those down there, right? They all had armor. Yeah, look at this. Ginormous amount of armor. Didn't get any... I still haven't figured out what the point of the champions is. Like, I really don't get it. But there we go. We have the slimes. And I think this will be an amazing festival of just... Sli sliming. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Wasn't this like on Nickelodeon or something like this uh, a thing where th there was always a female and it got slimed and it was so awkward and I don't know why there was even a thing. <laughs> Shrek had it. I mean, you know, th 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 there were some funny memes that Shrek or the Hulk had a lot of fun with them, but like... <laughs> 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 Who had that idea? Like, what kind of weird fetish do you need to have to be, like, to, to make that up and propose that, and then it becomes a thing? Oh, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Look at this, though. Isn't it? That is super easy this time. Is maybe the quadruple projectile a bad one? No, I think the problem was that the rest of the stuff that I got wasn't optimal. Yeah. You really need to have bonus damage here to quickly kill the enemies, otherwise you start getting hit. And I think I will just keep walking around forever. As long as I can just collect the stuff and get magnets, get uh, champions maybe, and items, yeah, that will be good. Oh, the global damage is increased or we go for sip because we have two charges then. Or we explode. I think I will just go for the damage. Maybe I should pay way more attention to mobility, but I hope that this time maybe we can just out-damage the enemies, you know? We kill them so fast that they don't even get to really fight. Or, well, hmm. Uh, do I want to have that HP? I think I want to stick around the HP. Uh, 10 minutes I have to come back. So what I could do is, I can just walk up, and then I gather the next shrine, and then I go back down and stick around the health, right? That sounds like a good idea, I would say. Yeah, shoot, there's not an HP one. Which is good, which is good. For the archers, we can keep them around. Yeah, and I can walk down because while you fight the archers, you can freely move as we have seen. Ooh, a little bit of movement speed. Uh, this only works... I don't even know when it really works. Yeah. Okay, so this... Do, do you see how much damage he's taking, though? While we don't attack him with the burning? It's ridiculous, isn't it? And that's why I want to upgrade that as much as possible. There should be another shrine here. It's Wisdom, which is very nice. Your experience teaches you well. Good, 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 good. I like that. If we could now find a magnet, that would be a perfect timing. I don't really know what the book does. I just theorize that you get more experience, because it does make sense. And careful, careful. Immunity could actually be a very good timing right now, because now I don't care, and I just kill everything. And yeah, look at this. We got area or attack speed. Always 20% more damage and area. I don't know. And the... Wait... These are way better. Like, the shard pull area is great, but I think I just want to be as strong as possible. Or maybe I should change that once we get to the boss fight? Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not completely sure. 
We are killing enemies left and right. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the nuke that we have right now. And I wouldn't even say this is a particular good game. Like, it's just better, but it's not amazing. You can definitely make some broken stuff and I can't wait to get way better equipment. Where you just destroy the enemies. Oh, come. That is a uh, chain of war. Your dash is improved. I think I will go for the dash. I mean, ugh, the shurikens are also really nice, but yeah, I don't think so. I think we are already kind of strong enough clear-wise, and we just want to focus on survival now. We just walk through the enemies and nuke everything. Electricity ring, isn't that attack speed? Faster cooldown. That, well, I mean, I have a way better one. I, I upgraded that ring. Yeah. <laughs> that is way better. Oh my god, there's another health. We have three health thingies. Oh my god. God, okay, that means I can stay alive for a very, very, very long time later on. That is amazing. Yeah, and we just nuked these dudes, by the way. The only thing that I need right now is something to more e When an enemy dies from curse, gain permanent damage? Every couple of attacks, shoot out phantoms. Um, wait, okay, how likely is it that someone actually dies from curse? I don't think it matters all too much, but right now we have 31.2% damage. So later on, we'll just check it out in case this went up. 31.2, 31.2, Did we kill a single enemy? We did. Okay. It's just one, but like our damage is so low. Don't wait a second. Is it 42.2% that goes up or this one? Let's take a look at this one. 42.2. Oh, it's the one in the back that goes up. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, and the, the first one is obviously just a full number. What are magnetic gauntlets? Jesus. I, I mean, like, look, look, 400 over this. Uh, hmm, that's actually hard to say. This one is still better for later on, but for now, yeah, I'll take this one. Do we even notice a big difference? Full in range wise. Okay, there we go. Let's fight these again, the Llama Warriors. The enemy is down there. Dude, we deal so much damage. Did you see that? Wait, we did like 90 damage there. Wait, how? And if I go up here, then maybe we can hit both of them at the same time. No, we can't. Okay. Do we deal a lot of damage at least? Is okay. mm -hmm. I don't know. It doesn't look too good. I mean, we are kind of doing fine. As long as I keep track where the healing is, which I, I, I lost track of. <laughs> the only thing that I wanted to do was keep track of that. Wait, okay, we killed him. Good. There's the healing. And there are two archers up there. Uh, did we find them? Yeah, we found them. Very good. They don't deal as much damage as the last time, or did I just keep walking into them? Yeah, I guess I kept walking into them all the time. There we go. He's cursed. There's a shrine. This could have been a magnet, just saying. Okay, there's the health. Very nice. Let's keep shooting again. And if I go down to the left, there's the next one. And if I then go up, there's the other one. So this time, we have a ginormous amount of healing, and I'll hunt you down. You don't get to escape here. I'm sorry, mister. Huh? 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 Did we kill him? Nice, we killed him. Dude, why is there so much experience on the floor? I did a poor job at collecting this. Yeah, I just dashed right into that, didn't I? Yeah. The problem is sometimes they shoot directly at you. Other times they shoot exactly where you're walking and that makes it a little bit confusing whether you should dash or not. Oh my god, we can hit two at once here if we do it right. Oh my god, okay, okay. And there's the other one. Let's kill him. I wonder, I don't think you actually kill them. Like, I really think they just disappear and then reappear somewhere else. Otherwise, this wouldn't really make sense, right? We would see way less arrows. Like, I think there are just three or four of them in total. Okay, okay, we're doing this. I would kind of like to get a healing here. So let's go down. <laughs> Why is this so complicated? Like, this should be so simple to dodge, but I, I suck at it. Enemy armor's reduced, that's, uh, let's go for the dashes. There's the healing, the next one. Okay. And now we get to shoot again. Come on, come on, we can do this. Oh my god, we just need a little bit more. It's not even that much that I need. Ooh, okay. So he teleported away. Let's follow this dude. We almost have it. Where, where are the other ones? Oh my god, they're so far away. No, 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 come close, come on. It's just a little tiny bit. There's a magnet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's get old experience that is left on the stage. Uh, we did it. 30% bonus- wait, 30% bonus attack and 50% attack missile velocity, which just makes it faster, but, well, okay, I'll be honest, I like the attack speed way, 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 way more. <laughs> okay. 
Well, and we did it. We killed the boss, and I think that was it. I'll check it out if there's more to the game. Otherwise, we just wait until the full release is out. But you can expect this to be a series on my channel in the future. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.